95% of our lives are run and created by our subconscious mind programming. Imagine if your subconscious mind is running many negative, disempowering, and self-sabotaging programs. How will that 95% of your life turn out to be? Would you like help to change your subconscious programming into something that works for you and set it to attract and create everything you desire? Join Tamara Oviat in her show Metaprogramming and the Human Biocomputer here on Ohm Times, where she will connect to the source energy and change your subconscious programming by deleting your negative belief systems. Tamara is the founder of Sacred Activations, a subconscious metaprogramming modality that rewires your brain and shifts hundreds of your belief systems so you can break away from lack, pain, and suffering and take control of what you want to create in your life. Tamara has helped hundreds of thousands of people worldwide, and she is here to help you too. It's not about fighting what you don't want. It's about creating what you do want. And the only way to do that is to change and upgrade your subconscious programming. Let Tamara help you create magic in your world. Tune in every week at Metaprogramming and the Human Biocomputer. Hi, everybody. Welcome to OM and welcome to Ella. Ella is a sacred activations practitioner and teacher. She is going to be your host today. She's going to be changing so many belief systems that just wait to see what happens. You're going to be absolutely amazed. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So stay tuned, hang out with Ella. She's going to do a lot of shifts for you. And I will see you next week on the Ohm Show. And I'm sending you guys lots and lots of love. Have a good time, Ella. Bye, everybody. Have fun. Oh, if you guys want to join this live, live, live and be on the Zoom call, make sure you sign up on my website. And we also have a live practitioner training coming up. If you like what we're doing and you're receiving big shifts, make sure you sign up for the practitioner training. We go a lot deeper and then you can also help others. Thank you so much, Ella. Have an absolute blast, everybody. And um, I'll see you in the New Year's. Bye. Bye, Tamara. Thank you. Thank you for that amazing intro. Welcome, everyone. So as Tamara said, I am Ella Isakov, and I am from Toronto, Canada. And yes, it is freezing here, but there's no snow. Not yet. <laughs> Actually, there has been. And I am one of Tamara's teachers. And what I love most about this community of sacred activations that Tamara's created is that it's global. I've got colleagues in Netherlands, Philippines, Japan, Australia, all over, U.S., of course. And, of course, there's a few of us in Canada. And I also run sacred activations practitioner and master trainings. In fact, I have another one coming up coming up in the spring. And I just finished on the weekend the master sacred activations uh, practitioner training, which I'm just so proud of these people. And we're just spreading the healing, spreading the love and, you know, ditching the fear, <laughs> as well as I have really popular webinars, there's sacred activations webinars throughout the year, and they're all themed and they, we get people from Europe, US, uh, and of course, Canada, haven't hit Asia for my webinars yet, but I think it's coming. So you can always reach me on my website. It's elizakov.com. Super, super easy. So welcome to today. And the theme today is winter solstice. And winter solstice, actually all of the shifts of the seasons, all the shifts of the moons, all the shifts of the planet are super, super important. And if we tap into those energies, we get more harmony, we get more alignment, and we get more imbalance. And it serves us greatly to notice, to observe, to participate, to take actions, and of course, to set those intentions. In truth, even though winter solstice is tomorrow, December the 21st in the evening, in truth, the energy started from the portal of 1212, which is December the 12th. So over these weeks, excuse me, over these days from 1212 till the 21st, that is when it's crucial to start releasing and clearing things that are not serving you, kind of clearing that slate, 
kind of clearing that slate, all the things that are not meant for you. And you know that this work is really about belief systems. So which belief systems are not serving you? And which, of course, which emotions? So winter solstice is about facing our shadows. Mm -hmm. And shadows are, we all have our shadows. Shadows are those dark emotions like shame, anger, guilt, resentment. Grief is actually also something that we carry, that we can release. And what a lot of people do not realize is that emotions have vibration. In fact, so the highest vibration emotion is enlightenment, peace, love, gratitude. The lowest vibration emotion, if you can think about it, is shame. Shame is actually the lowest vibration emotion and then there's guilt grief anger and when we carry these lower vibration and fear when we carry these lower vibration emotions within us it shifts our energy it shifts our vibration it blocks us it keeps us in that fear so the beautiful thing about sacred activations is that it clears helps clear those low vibration emotions, the shadow, and the belief systems and the traumas that do not serve us. And here's the thing, when we clear away these emotions, we don't, we don't, we still, we, we can acknowledge both our dark and our light. Just like there's the sun, and then there's the moon. We acknowledge both our, when we acknowledge both our light and our darkness, then there's no hiding then there's no hiding. And the beauty of that, two things, living in your truth, and then of course, authenticity. We hide, we play small. Yeah, and self-acceptance, absolutely. Oh, I'm catching some of the chat. <laughs> uh, and and self-acceptance, of course. But this cannot happen until we accept things. So today's sacred activations are going to help you with this, clearing the self-sabotaging emotions, starting to unplug you from the fear of consciousness, and also start to help you move into your creative zone of genius, to help you move into your purpose. I want to go back to winter solstice. As I said, the key thing is facing our shadows. Then there is also, this is the time for introspection, where we reflect on, I guess, this year and ourselves. It's also a time for quiet and solitude and to take a break. I don't know about you guys, but this has been a busy year, a really overwhelming me, overwhelmingly amazing year. But then it's also important to take that pause and then reflect. And that's where really the gratitude also comes in when we pause. And by the way, gratitude is one of my secrets in creating abundance. Every day when I walk outside, I say three things I'm grateful for. It could be as easy as the sun ray on my face, the cuddles with my cat, and it could be as powerful as I made an incredible, I had great abundance that month. And all of that allows you to keep a pre in, in, the, in the zone of appreciation, <clears throat> in the zone of beauty, seeing that beauty is in everything, even in the lessons, even in the things that seem heartbreaking and tragic, because ultimately, when we move towards gratitude, we see that this might be hard to believe. <laughs> we see that even the tragic things have beauty and lessons and purpose. And often, when we think we're being sidetracked and doors are closing, the universe is helping us move towards, towards our purpose. In fact, this year has been so remarkable. Oh my gosh, I'm just naturally leading into my next thing that I want to talk about <laughs> to help you, not just with sacred activations that I'm going to give you today. But this year, there were, of course, the full and new moons and all the seasonal changes, but also some remarkable planetary movements, like the solar eclipses and 
then there's all those portals, if you don't know, like the Lionsgate portal of 8-8, and then there's the portal of 9-9. Acknowledge those portals. They are so incredible for helping you not have to force and fight and be in fear and really opens up a clearer way to move forward or to move up or to expand. Really, when we expand, we're unstoppable. We're unstoppable. In fact, when you expand and unblock, then really anything is possible because there's nothing within you that is getting in your way. Yeah, planetary alignment. And there's a planetary alignment, uh, sacred activation. <laughs> oh, I know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually not running that today, but it will be included in the activations that I will be running, I promise you. So what I'm trying to say is that we are all helped. We are all being nudged. We're all being guided. We're all being so supported to move towards the new world, the new world where there's less fear, less violence, where there's peace, where there's cooperation, where we work together, where we see all of us as beautiful beings with flaws. Yeah with our imperfections. I don't know if you know that saying, I am perfectly imperfect. And that's what we all are. But we have this persona, we have this good girl, good boy archetypes that we carry, generally from family, from trauma, from our ancestors. And by the way, today we're also gonna clear the ancestral, the familial traumas, beliefs, caste systems that are keeping you uh, capped, <laughs> keeping you capped and walled in. And when we're walled in, we're just living other people's conditioned ways for us when really there's so much for us to move into that's ours, that our purpose. Can you imagine that each one of you, let's see, each one of you is here on this plane, on this like alive, living, breathing for a purpose, for a unique purpose. I don't know if you know this, but I always love this, is that you know that there's no two stars that are the same or no two snowflakes that are the same. And that is the same about each and every one of you. And one of the greatest plights of humankind is, oh, it's 1212, which is a portal. Uh, it's an angels, angels are here. Um, the great one of the greatest plights on this earth is we're hiding. Oh my gosh. So if you can imagine if all if we never saw the stars, if all the stars were just in black and hiding, well we kind of do the same thing when we don't show up, when we do what other people ask us to do, when we live in fear, when we hide ourselves, which I think is what what happens majority of the time is we hide. I know I hid for years. <laughs> uh, no more. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> By the way, I've got stage fright as well. You can do things that are, even seem a little scary and make it the most beautiful, wondrous experience. And I hope that today's session with me, first of all, such an honor to be on OM TV and such an honor to be with all of you and I feel like I've lived, I've been to over 40 countries and I've lived in seven countries. So I feel like a global citizen myself and I was not born in Canada. And, uh, and that's actually another thing that I had to clear is, you know, no matter what your homeland is, even if you weren't born there, even or if you were born there, you're carrying all those beliefs, all the traumas and all the limitations. Um, the oppression, the battles, you, you carry that in yourselves and in, in your DNA, which is another beautiful thing about sacred activations is it helps clear that. And you know that when you clear that for yourself, guess what? You're clearing it for your ancestors. And yes, you're also helping the future generations and even the people that are closest to you in your home, the war inside. Yes, I was thinking about that sacred activation, but I chose not to do it because I chose to do another one. But I love it. <laughs> Some of you guys really know them. There's, you know, there's about 800 sacred activations. It's pretty remarkable. Okay. 
So today we're going to be dealing with clearing self-sabotaging emotions, self-sabotaging patterns that are keeping you stuck and keeping you living in your past. And one of the big sacred activations today, and I want to address this because this is also part of our shadow side that we live in and keeps us in shame as well. We've all made mistakes. You, I, the person next to us, people we know, the people we don't know, but we live in those mistakes that keeps you living in the past. It keeps you stuck and it keeps you from opening up your heart fully. Okay. Here's what I wanna say, any questions? <laughs> anyway, uh, wonderful. And if we can move past the things we've done, the things we've said. I know I haven't always been a nice person, especially not in my in my 20s. Um, and we can move past it, that, move beyond that. I want to tell you another little secret if you're open to it. Here's the thing when you heal your traumas, you heal your, your shame, and you move out of living in the past and in your mistakes. This is the most beautiful thing that comes out of that. Are you ready? The most beautiful thing that comes out of that is, oh, I'm just getting goosebumps. I feel like, okay, my, my team is here too. <laughs> um, the most beautiful thing that comes from that is that you gain this remarkable wisdom. You can study. I went to two universities. You can study. You can research. Everything is at our fingertips on Google. Everything. But the wisdom you gain from your life experiences, from, huh, from even your mistakes, from your pain, from your suffering, the wisdom that you gain from healing that, ooh, I'm getting because in fact, I'm getting verklempt, <laughs> if you guys know what that means, um, because I still feel the truth of that. And this is why, maybe that's why I do so well in my, in my business, because I, um, I understand the lowest, because I've been through the dark night of the soul numerous times, not numerous times, twice. Uh, I understand the depth of our suffering and the depth of our heartbreak. And then when I see the person in front of me, it's almost like I feel all that. And then how can I help you, them, you feel safe to be willing. There needs to be a willingness that we often forget about. It's not just about receiving the activations. Okay, I'm just going to sit back. It's like, it's also about that willingness and the permission to receive it and knowing that you're worthy. And, you know, there's a lot of talk about forgiveness in, in the healing journey. But honestly, all you have to think about is self-forgiveness. When you Think about the self-forgiveness. When you move towards self-forgiveness, the rest will follow. The rest will follow. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. So as you move towards your healing path, you're going to grow as a human. You're going to grow in love. You're going to grow in such immense wisdom and such immense comprehension of the beauty, the remarkable beauty of all aspects of being human. Because, you know, changes will come, heartbreak will come, losses will come. How do we move through that? Instead of pushing it down, instead of running away, which is my favorite thing to do is run away. Uh, no longer. <laughs> How do we face all of it? It's not easy. And we've been conditioned, and it's no one's fault. We've been conditioned from all the traumas and all the oppression, and all the wars and the battles. Uh, both in scarcity and lack, and also in how we <clears throat> how we live in fear. <laughs> um, so this is the time, I guess, uh, especially use this winter solstice, use this end of the year. I'm not into any kind of New Year's resolutions myself because I make intentions all year long with all the new moons when I make my abundance checks, when all the new moons where I write my intentions and all the full moons where I burn the check. I keep the intentions if they're still ones I'm working on. Make your whole life 
a beautiful intention. Make every moment a moment to be with all of it. Yeah, the fears show up, the shame will show up, the grief will show up, and how do we face all that? Whew, it's, it's, um, this world isn't easy. Life isn't easy all the time. But how do we, hmm, we are, I love that. We are the living prayers. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I saw that. That is so beautiful. We are the living prayers. And I know that when I, when, when we live in our victimhood, when we live in our trauma, which I did for, you know, I went through the foster care system and, you know, juggled all around the world and families. We continuously have this mentality of, which the consciousness also lives in, is that life is working against us. Life is um, not for us. Life doesn't want happiness and love and expansion for, for me and for us. But when we shift that to life is always working for us. I'm even going through some changes now because there's so many big shifts happening behind the scenes and I'm grateful for it all. All the, the beautiful things that are happening right now all my teachers like Tamara and then also the changes that you know the unknown is never easy for us humans is it Whew, we do not like the unknown and was it Wayne Dyer that boy was it oh my gosh I love Wayne Dyer and Ram Dass so sometimes I mix up who said what but you kind of always want to have your you, notice how often you stay in safety in the safety in the comfort zone and Find that where, where your toe or your whole foot is kind of slightly out of the comfort zone. That's where you open up to big shifts. That's where you open up to big expansion. We're going to get ready soon for a little break and then we'll start the sacred activations. But that's kind of will be the theme today in the sacred activations that are going to run for you. Clearing self-sabotaging emotions that keep us so blocked and in the low vibration. Unplug you from the collective fears of scarcity and the need to struggle. We'll also give you some activations to help you focus and then creativity. Do you know that each and every one of you is creative? All of you. All of you are remarkable creative beings. Yet we hide that. We also play small because, oh, hmm, should I go... There's this thing, have you heard that we're like the, oh, it's 12 to 2. My gosh, the angels are like all over you guys today. Um, you heard that you are like the five closest friends that you hang out with. But what also happens is we kind of keep all parts of us kind of low and capped to because we feel guilt of expanding more, having more, doing more. And we're going to clear that today as well. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to struggle. And dare I say, you can kind of hustle, which is that big word. I don't like that word, but you can hustle where you can be and be in the flow, which no longer is the hustle. When you're in the flow and doing what you love, then you're just in the flow. And pebbles and rocks will show up, but you're still in the flow. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some activations for focus. And then also, of course, remind you of your extraordinariness and remind you of your gifts and that each and every one, there are, whoa, there's 73 of us here. Uh, and each one of you has a unique gift to give to the world. And my colleagues, each one of us have something unique to offer. And the people that are drawn to us, they're drawn to us for a reason. Uh, it's funny how um, I dealt with a big loss. I lost my sister to... Uh, three years ago now and if I told you how many clients I got that lost the sibling so it's so it's it's so interesting or had other things that were similar or had the same kind of traumas that I went through without even knowing about me my website uh, I don't say all of that on my website of course <laughs> but this is the remarkable thing that we all offer something unique and that's why there's no competition that everybody is of service. And I hope that today's, as I start to run the activations after our break, I hope that it opens you up to dream, to dream bigger, to move into love, 
and know that you have a great purpose. And yeah, I am running that. <laughs> okay, guys, um, let's take a two or three minute break for washroom break, grab a water, and then we're going to dive in to um, start to clear, deactivate, and activate. All right, let's take a uh, let's take a three minute break. Ohm Times TV. Imagine becoming a super influencer. Reinvent yourself, invest in your brand, and then manifest your success with a robust, spheric approach. Ohm Times Media and Broadcasting offers a unique and multifaceted way to become the spiritual and conscious influencer you deserve to be by putting your message across our powerful platform with its proven record of integrity and excellence. Through our produced shows, Ohm Times offers the opportunity to become a social media TV personality, a radio show host, an Ohm Times magazine columnist, and a syndicated podcaster, all in one shot. By live streaming your show on Ohm Times TV and broadcasting it across the extensive Ohm Times radio and TV networks, you become more than a host. You become an ambassador and a force for positive change. Ohm Times, open yourself to the possibilities. Do you want to go deeper into sacred activations, which is a subconscious metaprogramming process? Tamara Oviat is inviting you to visit her website at tamraoviat.com to sign up and get lifetime access to free seven activations that you can listen to anytime you want or as often as you need. If you like what Tamara does and like to incorporate sacred activations into your life, she also offers live webinars, masterclasses, and practitioners training to further support your healing, manifestations, and expansion. There are hundreds of activations on her website that address different aspects of your life, money, health, relationships, intuitive abilities, and more. Head over to her website at tamraoviat.com and experience the magic of sacred activations. Thank you for listening. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes Walk a mile in my shoes Well, before you abuse, criticize and accuse Walk a mile in my shoes All right, welcome back, everyone. And shall we begin? So sit or lay down comfortably. And if it's comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes and take a few deep, expansive breaths. And as you take those deep, expansive breaths, just allow yourself that permission to receive, to release what's not serving you and receive what will serve your higher good. And go ahead and move either into your heart center or into the depth of Mother Earth as you like. Here we go starting to run unmasked emotions now. And this will clear all and any suppressed emotions that are damaging to you and opens you up to the vibration of love, joy, and happiness. Moving that love through your DNA. A lot of anger leaving here. 
In fact, I'm gonna, the next one, the ultimate release of anger, fear, and guilt. Activation starting now. This is a clear release further, the emotions that are in your way, preventing you from, from being all that you can be. Clearing out sadness, anger, fear, guilt, hurt, rejection, and pain. And these are the key stumbling blocks and hurdles that are preventing you from seeing the beauty of you. So much anger is flushing out. I'm going to add on to that shame and humiliation. Starting to run that. Clearing that. A lot of emotions proclaim you. You may even feel almost like you want to cry. So just allow yourself to be with whatever is percolating. going quite deep for some of you. So really breathe and allow it to be, to move up and out. When I start to run, I am worthy, which clears the shame. Anytime we don't feel worthy, it's because of shame. That goes along with carrying trauma and mistakes that you've experienced or mistakes that you've made that you're still holding on to. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be running to I am worthy and self-forgiveness. So accept to receive and allow. I'm 
And they're saying that you are worthy of greatness. Actually, some of you guys are attending to your inner child right now. So there's a lot of inner child healing without running the inner child <clears throat> sacred activation. It's going deep. Gonna start to run deepest dark secrets and thoughts. So the, the, here's the thing: when we hold on to this, these things that we are hiding because they bring us shame, or we're scared of what other people will think of us if we say it, it eats us up, <clears throat> and it continues the shame. It continues that continuing uh, hamster wheel of shame. So what I'd like you, and it can make you sick, just like low vibration emotions make you sick, either mentally, emotionally, physically. So what I'd like you to think about is one thing, one thing that's just showing up in your mind that you've been holding on to and allow the sacred activation to help you. And if there's two, that's fine. But really set that intention. I'm ready to release this. I'm ready to let this go. Here we go. Starting to run deepest, dark secrets and thoughts. Oh yeah, Ooh, there's a lot. Just really focus on it or the few that you're thinking of. <clears throat> Wow, so if you're still doing this, you can think of your second one. You guys are amazing. I'm sensing that you guys are really allowing.
that's still running. I'm going to start self-loading, clearing any in any way that you are holding conscious, subconsciously or unconsciously any kind of debilitating fear-based patterns that are keeping you self-loading. So starting that, accept to receive. going to stack self-sabotage onto that clinging beliefs that are keeping you in a spiral of negativity toxicity or badgering yourself with actions and or words or thoughts and also clearing that belief that we tend to live by that life needs to be hard here we go self-sabotage clearing Oh, so let us sabotage. <laughs> Just give yourself permission to let it go. Life can be easy. Life can flow. Life can work for you. It is working for you. <clears throat> You're gonna stack on that collective wound to survive. Release and disconnect you from the need to suffer and survive. From the collective consciousness belief that survival is a struggle, that life has to be hard, or that life is working against you. Unplugging you for that. So start running, starting to run collective wound, wound to survive. Release. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing this as also as ancest ancestral struggles. Gonna stack on that alchemy of the third dimension, which will also connect you for the fears and suffering control of the third dimension of fear-based thinking and moving towards unconditional love. <clears throat> Christ consciousness awareness, sacred activation. Move expanding into love. Expand, expand, expand into love.
And on that, I'm going to add on heart center, which is similar to shifting you from the collective of fears by really plugging you in to the process and heals you as a whole by connecting you to your heart, to your truth, to your body. Here we go, starting to run, I am a big deal. Hmm. You are a big deal, each and every one of you. Well, this will elevate you to a higher understanding of how amazing you are. It will help you manifest your desires, help you see that your contribution, each and every one of you, is so, 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 so important to the world. Here we go, accept to receive. I'm being told to say that you are worthy of receiving all of all of it. I'm gonna stack on that defragmentation and laser focus, releasing any kind of um, scatteredness and inability to really hunker down and know that you're worthy and then to create, to do, to be, brings back, back all those fragment, fragmented pieces of you. You see clarity, inspiration, and laser focus. Here we go. Still some clearings happening from inner child. It's like that little boy, little girl that's um, started hiding young. But you, and so wanting to be a big deal is like, what? But you can make it happen. Breathe, accept. You are worthy. Starting to run, get into the vortex of creation of abundance. And I'm going to be stacking on that creative gene extraordinaire. Here we go. Moving into the energy of abundance. And you can plug into abundance. Wow. Move out of the fear-based scarcity that we, the collective, the consciousness, you know that you can exceed no matter what is going on in the world and no matter what they say, predict. Creative gene extraordinaire. It literally supercharges your manifesting ability.
I'm going to stack the last two sacred activations, genie in the bottle and being extraordinary. Here we go, accept to receive. Genie in the bottle is part of that limitation of the collective is that we are limited in what we can wish and dream for. That we are limited in our wishes. And we're not limited to three wishes. We have unlimited wishes, unlimited capacity. So dream away, dream away. And being extraordinary is like all the twinkles of the, all the unique stars. And it's celebrating your uniqueness, it's celebrating your talents, celebrating your creativity, and helping you bring that to the world. <clears throat> And while that's running, I'm going to run Godspeed and ease and grace just to help all the activations run with ease and grace for you individually, each and every one of you. Inhale, white light up beyond the crown of the head. Exhale out your nose and you and the white light go down, down, down through all the layers of Mother Earth until you get to the heart of Mother Earth. And just allow yourself to bask in the grounding, loving, holding energy of Mother Earth. Then go ahead and inhale, bring the light back up beyond the crown of the head. Exhale out your nose and bring the light to your heart center. And just take a few breaths in your heart center. Just know that these activations are still integrating and running for the next couple of hours, a few of them, maybe in a few weeks or several weeks. Take a few deep, expansive breaths.
And wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Stretch your body out. Mm. And gently, when you're ready, open up your eyes. May this uh, hour serve you well and continue to serve you. Have a wonderful winter solstice and a new year. Bye for now.